Hey there, how's it going? What is up everybody? Irish Rantan is back to pass along the knowledge to make the most of your men team. Today we are back to look at the best team nobody can buy. This lineup has got me some wins, sometimes when I didn't deserve them, and sometimes um, just after logging in it gets me a um, win after a drive or two as well. So definitely some players that I can highly recommend in here. Did make some big changing to, uh, changes to the passing offense and am looking to make one more big change here in the near future. Uh, Zach Wilson is starting to get long in the tooth, but we'll be looking over the offense and defense today. Getting things kicked off on the offensive line, Joe Thomas, Bruce Matthews, and Gary Zimmerman, all stalwarts that will be there for quite some time. This Larry Allen going to be playing alongside Joe Thomas for the foreseeable future. Just a tremendous blocker in every regard. Is a little bit short since he does have a little bit of boost to his speed at this point in time with the most feared bonuses. Uh, something you can just take directly into games now. Something that has changed tremendously since it first did come out and was something potentially looked down upon. Now something kind of given to us to let us have as much fun as we would like, which I do greatly appreciate. This sack, uh, this Shaq Mason, excuse me, coming in at the other right guard is a great uh, player to have onto your team. He is not going to be on my team all that long as I hope to get someone a little bit quicker. Looking at this Pouncey here, he is going to be someone that if I get his fully um, upgraded version, will be someone that I could potentially have at 76 speed and be a tremendous asset for me also. So Larry Allen definitely going to stay there. Uh, both have Polar Elite. Um, definitely things that I would recommend if you are running a lot of power or pulling as well. If you run toss, that can really help in those regards and just hold that block or just lead to him knocking someone over. Do have Identifier here. Um, along with post up and both of those things help out tremendously uh, worth taking out um, inside stuff and then better understanding exactly where your defender is and um, where the user is going to be potentially so you can throw away or run away um, something i've actually done recently is actually run towards the user and it does help a little bit with numbers as that other um, offside defender isn't able to get there as quickly but that does take away from some cut lanes so if you're looking to cut back uh, potentially run away from the user and then cut back as the over pursuit happens but just a couple of things to uh, keep in mind as i am running a little bit too much with that being said, Frank Wycheck probably is going to be my tight end moving forward. I'm very excited about that Robert Gronkowski, but he is not at the top of my wish list. He does have things that make him and uh, that is uh, Wycheck and Kittle kind of put together, but um, them separated and being able to use Kittle as a goal line rusher as well is a great asset. I'm interested in what I could potentially do with Gronkowski in that role also. Uh, moving a little bit further back um, to the guys that have a little bit more speed, this Brandon Marshall, awesome that the card moves still in my binder, is the best player on my team at this point, um, even with uh, Derrick Henry on my team, to be honest. He is near perfect at his position. Derrick Henry is as well, but this uh, Brandon Marshall can catch the ball just as well. If I could put this Marshall in the backfield and run him the way I could with Henry, he could do a similar job and would be a little bit faster and taller. So it is just absolutely remarkable what this Brandon Marshall is able to bring to my team, what they have given him for running stats and things like that, just the ability to be able to run him on jet sweeps. Um, even with Andre Johnson as well, he is a very, very similar asset. And after the most feared bonus goes away, um, Andre is going to be the number one wide receiver, probably with that Titans uh, boost. But this Marshall has some things that um, Andre just doesn't have in the receiving category. And Andre is going to be able to run those jet sweeps and be a tremendous running asset also. 
They both have uh, 78 and uh, 80 run blocking, so can run block better than a lot of those tight ends that are coming out with near 90 speed. So that is something that is remarkable as well for them to have in my run game and passing game. This Corey Davis 95 speed, again with the uh, 2 plus speed uh, from the most feared uh, strategy card. But um, he is someone that is tremendous in his role as well. Did have him alongside Andre Johnson for a while. This quarry was 99 speed uh, uh, until this past Thursday or Friday when they tried to switch things up with the most feared strategy cards. And he was remarkable at my team. And he does have um, the run blocking stats and actually receiving stats that made me feel comfortable with Jerry Rice kind of leaving the team early. He was my number one wide receiver the last time we talked. But it is crazy how many wide receivers that have came out that have matched him with all of the receiving stats, uh, speed, all of those things, uh, the ability to run with the ball, and also now run block even better, 20 plus better. And um, even these Corey Davises are starting to match what he was able to do as well. Still have Larry Zonka blazing game as the backup fullback. Will get his uh, leak card at some point, probably, um, but just not something that I plan on working on all that quickly. Probably will get Jared Cook's card up, unless there is another Titan tight end that comes out that's actually faster than him. Will have, I believe, 90 speed when I do get him all the way up and will just be one more asset that I do have passing the ball. The other thing that I do want to talk about um, is the quarterback position. With the last update with changes to scrambling quarterbacks, I have not been able to pass nearly as well with Cam Newton and I feel as if even a lot of the pocket quarterbacks have been taken down. So if you're hanging on to the ball even a half a second too long, throw under pressure is mattering a lot more. So I moved to Zach Wilson, uh, used uh, pocket dead eye, and am now just trying to get the ball out a little bit quicker and run more planned routes and sending less five men out. And when I do send five men out and it's not a quick concept, it doesn't usually end well, to be honest. So just something to keep in mind. You, the quick passing game does work well, but you will want to start getting some of those upper echelon throw under pressure quarterbacks if you are wanting to throw the ball consistently. Last time we talked, Derrick Henry was not the number one running back all of the time. Now it is very strange that he leaves the field. He has to be yellow going on red for him to um, be stamina wise someone that I do want to take off the field especially with that most feared boost. Him just being that fast especially at this point even with him being a little bit shorter it doesn't matter all that much and um, him without the most feared boost I still would say he's the best running back in the game. This Brandon Marshall is just absolutely ridiculous um, that he brought they brought him out this good um, but Derrick Henry is tremendous out of the backfield and since you can't line up Brandon Marshall as a uh, halfback. This Derrick Henry is the most valuable to my team, even though he may not be the best since Brandon. And every card they do bring out seemingly week on week um, seemingly are better. So always keep that in mind that the best cards that you do have on your team probably won't last that long. So getting a 600,000 coin card may not be the best investment to make especially when you are no money spent because uh, you don't necessarily have all the coins in the world to kind of throw at cards. On defense, we continue to make improvements. Isaiah Simmons has been someone that has just absolutely transformed what we can do in the middle of the field. With his additional speed and height, he is a great user and has allowed me to put Cam Chancellor back as a safety. And his speed back there has kind of changed the way I've been able to play. Now we only have one cornerback actually playing in Mike Haynes. He plays nickel just to make things a little bit easier to be honest. One last thing that I, we do have to switch at the beginning of the game. But he does have a very high block shed. Jeremy Chin and Jesse Bates could have a better 
uh, one of those to be honest but with both of them having the high hip power it does allow them to be a little bit more flexible and better at these positions uh, dropping back a little bit further have played with them uh, taller their normal heights and plus speed speed is absolutely the most important thing in the game and only losing a few inches isn't that big of a deal when I had six, eight players, eight foot players trying to throw up the better cornerbacks, we're going out and nabbing it when they are shorter. It's all about position and the animation you are able to get into. Um, even when you do have abilities, it isn't always the most important thing. But really being able to have players that can go out and play with 90 man in zone is something that's very important to me at this point in time. So it's something that I'm striving for. And then the hip power at 87 for both these players is just a huge bonus as well. Them being most feared is just another bonus on top of that for another week and a half or so. So just great players um, being able to fit in well. Jonathan Allen do have here as kind of a backup role to Tommy Harris does rarely come in Gregory Rousseau and Montez Sweat do definitely play a lot more and have them uh, with Tommy Harris being able to play in kind of a three front with Ted Hendricks being able to rush um, Kiwi Spy or drop back and having these three uh, defensive linemen focus more on stopping the run or getting after the quarterback and using everyone else around them to do pretty much everything else and just have them run different roles depending on what coverage I am trying to play behind that. Do have a three acrobats I guess out there and always did have more than that so it's kind of hard to or sad to say that I guess. I do have a lurker on Isaiah Simmons so that does take one away. Um, Camp Chancellor's out the way at his last slot does allow that to be free. Hendricks again with Lurker does allow them to get some plays that may not be afforded to them otherwise and uh, playing linebackers definitely helps. Gregory Rousseau and their um, excuse me and Tommy Harris's boost speed definitely helps with their inside stuff it makes them absolutely tremendous. Jeremy Chin going to be six foot three so Hopefully him not having acrobat doesn't hinder him going side to side, but he definitely can match up with a lot taller receivers very well. But nothing special here going through special teams. Got the free Matthew Wright with team of the week. Excited to what they are going to be able to bring for us this week. Maybe an 89 overall for free. Um, maybe a little bit more viable or special teams. I don't think there was a puncher that did anything all that remarkable, at least on a team that won. So that probably isn't going to be happening either. Again, uh, Marshall and Andre Johnson just kind of want to get the ball in their hands. I'm actually going to put Brandon Marshall here as well. Was a little bit nervous since he isn't the best um, kickoff returner um, with just that particular stat, but he does do very very with the, well with the ball in his hand so just need to figure out more ways to do so. Andre Johnson already in that slot position and doing very well. Play 3-3-5 odd most of the time so Hendricks just goes in on that outside rush and then have Rousseau um, just automatically come in there. Youngblood was someone that played on my team a lot until we started to get a little bit more upgrades there so we are moving to the phase where 90 overalls don't necessarily play on the team. It is weird to say that for a nobody spent squad at this point, but thankfully we've been able to not make as many stupid decisions like getting Brandon Marshall early, but I'm just very excited to have him on the team and got him at the point where he was the most valuable to me, so spending a little bit of extra wasn't the worst thing to do. For offense and defense, run Ravens, power run, run power eye, and different things out of that over and over and over again out of pistol is a lot of fun. Again, 3-3-5 three, three, and every other variation that does help out of that. Um, have ran 3-3-5 three, three, odd when people are trying to run the ball every play. Don't understand exactly why I'm able to shut things down so much better with that when with no linebackers except that people just don't really pursue so you just have to have enough people on the line to shut things down in that regard. So bringing down the safeties and having them play those linebacker type positions 
um, having Kiwi spies, having those people coming off the edge, and then just having those three guys in the middle. There's just something special about it. It works a lot, lot better than 3-3-4 for some reason, and it allows you to cover the pass, so definitely something to keep in mind. Have the man-to-man -man and in the zone to help out with uh, the plus two to each of those uh, four defensive backs that helps out immensely and then I have the plus one to wide receivers and running backs there halfbacks excuse me is not on Larry Zonka and scary speed does help out all my most feared players getting plus two there visuals those just help out with titans and that is it for the best team no money can buy very excited about what we have been able to put together this team could work for a passing scheme and very excited about getting Lawrence Taylor or Ray Lewis that sort of player um, adding them to the defense but quarterback may be the position that we need to build towards and get a new version of so wish H Herbert was a most feared player and he would already be on my team but since he was a limited player may have to wait a little bit longer to get a quarterback with um, high route master so that was a little bit of a bummer but we'll try to build up the coin stack and spend it a little bit more wide, uh, wisely than getting the best wide receiver in the game but he has been a lot of fun to play with so cannot hate on myself all that much for that but with that that is all that we do have for today i do appreciate you all and take care